Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels like forever since I brought to you a 17-inch Disney Limited Edition doll. But today, finally, mine shipped from California and it arrived this afternoon. We will take a look at the brand new Tinkerbell doll that just released last week. Um, she is finally here. I can't and I've been waiting like crazy for this one. I actually heard about Tinkerbell last October. So um, to see her now is like, yes, thank you, God. I love this doll. Um, that's sort of. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today, finally, uh, we're going to take a look at the brand new limited edition Tinkerbell doll that released from Shop Disney. So stay tuned. We're going to get her out of the box. We're going to look at all of her details. I cannot wait to see what you guys think. She's gorgeous. Ah, I love her. All right, so this Tinkerbell did release last Monday on Shop Disney. Mine shipped that day, but it shipped from California. So it took for flipping ever to get to me, um, which was irritating because everybody else was getting theirs like last week. But hey, life goes on. Um, but yes, I'd heard about this doll. Actually, I heard about her. I think it was last, I want to say September, maybe even August. So I knew she was coming. I just didn't know when. Um, so I'm really happy that they actually did come through with her. She's just gorgeous but anyhow let's look at her box so thank the lord we went back to the normal uh, 17 inch boxes disney listened thank you thank you thank you um we hate those other boxes so these oh yes thank you thank you thank you we're gonna go ahead and take a really good look at this box here so we have this cute keyhole opening here absolutely love it you can see there it says limited edition tinkerbell one of 5500 six plus disney logo there um on the side we also have the keyhole opening as well um on the back here we have disney peter pan if you want to pause and read it here you certainly can it is in i believe um english and then french Certificate of Authenticity um, and Stand Included. Now, the one dumb thing that just honked me off like none other, even though we went back to these normal boxes, Shop Disney, oh, greedy, kept the price at $149.99. No, I'm going to say right now, even as much as I love this doll, without even getting her out, I can tell you right now, she is not worth $149.99. So... That's probably why she's still available here. I know she sold out very, very quickly in Europe and in the UK, um, but here she is still available. So anyhow, that being said, let's go ahead. I'm gonna get her out. We're gonna, I haven't yet decided if I'm gonna fully debox or if I'm gonna partially debox. I don't know yet, so we'll see. I'm kind of running out of room to put deboxed dolls, but I'm literally out of room for boxed dolls, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, so really quickly, I did wanna show um, that, because uh, I did not show it earlier. Uh, it does say Peter Pan here in gold embossing on the top of the plastic there. Now, of the 5500, here's my certificate of authenticity. I did get number. 352 of 5,500. So if you do want to pause and read it, there is her COA. I love the gold embossing. I love the leaf design that's even in gold embossing on the box as well as on this. I think it's a really nice touch. So I decided I'm leaving her in the box. Um, I may grab another one if she's still available next month. We'll just kind of see. Uh, and then I'll debox one at that point. But right now, I think I'm going to leave her in just because I love how she's posed. And I'm going to be redoing my room here in a little bit. So... I will probably um, have some more room at that point to keep one in and one out, so we'll see. But anyhow, here she is in the box itself. We'll kind of take a real quick close up here. You can see all the stardust, the pixie dust there on the background, kind of a nice pale blue color. Absolutely love that. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna take the camera off the stand and we'll get in up close and take a look at all of her details. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Tinkerbell and oh my goodness, you guys, I absolutely love her. So starting at the top, of course, she does have rooted hair and rooted eyelashes, just like all 17 inch limited edition uh, dolls there. So um, you can see she has a little bit different hairstyle than what we're used to from the movie and the movies, the, the Tinkerbell line as well as the Peter Pan movie, but they're gonna take some liberties with a, a limited edition doll, so it's okay. Um, she, I don't think she normally has these ringlets, but it's fine. Um, I will go in and clean up her bun a little bit there. You can see there's some flyaways. I use cuticle nail scissors um, and they get in there really nicely because they're a nice fine tip and they're kind of curved a little bit. So just an FYI guys, uh, they're usually like two or three bucks at Walmart um, and uh, they're super easy and they work really, really well for those tight spots. Um, they also help when you need to clean up the eyelashes like that one right there that needs to go. <laughs> but my favorite part about Tink, and everyone's been talking about how big her head is. I think it works, honestly, for her. Um, my favorite part, and look at these cute little flowers, are her ears. I'm going to go to this one because it's easier to see. 
Look at those adorable, cute little pointed ears. So, so cute. Um, I don't have the designer doll. I would love to have the designer tank from years back. Um, her price is stupid. I'm sorry. Her price is just absolutely asinine. So I don't have that one. Maybe one day I will and I'll compare the two. But for now I have her and this is literally perfect. Um, and a lot of people I know complained about the iridescent skin on Tinkerbell. There's only a handful of dolls. Mainly they're Frozen dolls. But also Jasmine has it. And then the D23 um, Vanessa has that iridescent skin. Um, but for her, I honestly think it works. I feel like there was another one here recently. Oh, and then, um, the Cinderella live action has it as well. But I feel like there was one more, a little more recently that had it too. And I'm failing. Oh, it was a designer Ariel, the first one that we got, um, this past year. Uh, she had the iridescent skin, or maybe it was even in 2021, actually. It may have been 2021 that that one released. Time has flown. Dolls have been chaotic. I don't remember. Um, but anyhow, uh, so she has it. But for her, like I said, I do believe it works. If you kind of get in there really close, you can kind of see it sparkles. I think that that really does kind of just give it more of that fairy-like look. And I love her face mold. Her little upturned nose is so cute. Um, I think her face mold is spot on. Her blue eyes are just simply stunning. Um, I'm just really thrilled that we got a Tinkerbell. <laughs> now, she doesn't really have any accessories, but she does have these beautiful hard plastic wings and you can see they're iridescent so they pick up the light they play with the light very very well um she's stunning like absolutely stunning she's I, yeah i just can't get over her <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a good 17 inch doll so i am thrilled to pieces with this one um i yeah i'm just thrilled to pieces uh the d23 dolls are probably the last good ones and then before that was probably meg or kita um so yeah i'm i'm happy to get another good pretty beautiful well done uh 17 inch doll coming down to her dress of course she has her iconic leaf dress of course they've gussied it up a little bit which is allowed um because it is an heirloom quality doll or at least they're calling it that uh she has some embroidery floral patterns here as well as some aurora borealis crystals scattered throughout it's a two-piece outfit so a top and then a skirt the same flower almost as designer ariel which I'm looking, uh, I guess Designer Arrows is a little bit more lighter purple. This is more of a magenta plum, but it looks the same otherwise. Uh, is there on her waist, coming down from that is a chain. You can see here we have a uh, gold leaf and a little pearl, and then the chain is actually tied to the skirt. The skirt itself is multi-layers of leaves. They are kind of tacked together, you can see here, but we've got the same embroidery. We've got gems, we've got some plain leaves, and then we have more embroidery uh, there on some other different layers. There's like three or four layers of the leaves, and then there's actually two layers of tulle. So we have that same uh, color there, uh, here in the tooling, and then we have a clear or a white tool with a little bit of shimmer to it there underneath that. So I do like that they added this. I think it just adds again to that the pizzazz, the pop that she needed, um, and just gave us a little bit more fabric for a $149.99 doll. <clears throat> she should be $129.99 at Shop Disney. Just saying. Um, coming down, <laughs> you can see she does have her cute little shoes there. Now, instead of pom-poms, they put little white iridescent flowers, which is fine. But these shoes are so cute. Look at those. And there you can really see how that, that glitter skin works in her favor, being a fairy. I absolutely love that. Now, mine's got a little spot on her leg. Look at that. Second doll I've gotten from Disney that has a spot on her leg. Oh, well, I don't care. She's cute, and I'm fine with it. Um, it's just an adorable, adorable, adorable doll. And her shoes are perfect. Now she does have that same, that new oval base stand. I hate that. I really wish they go back to the round ones. Um, I think the round ones are more sturdy, especially with dolls that are a little more top heavy. The round seems to support them better than these. I'm wondering if it's a saddle. Yes, it's a saddle stand. So, oh, look at that. There, she's got little green undies. Um, it is a saddle stand, so that's good. She also has on each wrist, um, some gold bangles you can see here on her right arm she has two and on her left arm she has three uh, they have used these bangles a lot they're on a lot of the 17 inch dolls I think that um, oh, the, the 50th anniversary Cinderella has them I'm pretty sure Ariel's got them uh, and a few other dolls have them as well but it's all good let's get her back on focus there we go but yeah there is the 17 inch beautiful Tinkerbell limited edition doll course Peter Pan's anniversary is this year I cannot believe I think it's 70 years just doesn't seem possible I mean granted it was out long before I was born but golly goodness time is flying um but yeah so at least we got this gorgeous Tinkerbell doll from it so yes I am happy that she's finally here 
Hopefully I can grab another one and get one out of the box. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for my review of the new limited edition Tinkerbell doll. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about her or any other item on my channel, do leave those comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you got her, I know a lot of people did. I know she's still available here in the U.S., probably due to price again but you know hey it is what it is but definitely let me know what you guys think alrighty guys well again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope everybody's having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon